absolutely lunatic crowd in here we've got tonight. From all over the four corners of the earth we've got them in here tonight. And I'm honestly, they're really mental. They're absolutely raring to go. Well, it serves them right. They shouldn't have stopped at the pub on the way here. <laughs> right. Now, listen, I'll, I'll tell all you viewers at home. I was just going to tell them all the joke in the studio, so let me tell you this story. There was this fella. Hey, Jim. He was... Jim. What? No, just a minute. Jim. This fella was with this... Jim, you know what? you're always asking me about darts. But yeah, that's well, right. There's a little bit of a film here showing just how our first started. A film? How oh, your yeah. first started? There it comes now. Oh. There you are, that's me. There's my dad practicing. <laughs> Happy with his eye, I was. Right, he must have had some guts to do that, eh? Yeah, and what you might say, spree decor. Very... Oh, Jim, Apple. Yes, very Get enough. it. You give me the pit. Go on, get off. <laughs> hey, let's meet our first couple tonight playing bullseye. Give them a nice round of applause. Hi, John. Hi, John. Hi, John. Hi, we must do this. We haven't worn it. Just stand up a minute, John. <laughs> Jack, just stand next to him. <laughs> How's that? You well, settle down again now. Good <laughs> for a pair. Good for a pair, that's right. You're both from Chesterfield, that's right, isn't it? Yep. Tony, what, what do you do for a living, Tony? Miner. You're a miner? Yep. You'll have your own pit, I suppose, or you have your own mine, will you? <laughs> yeah, no, right. <laughs> Jack, what do you do, sir? I'm a bandsaw operator. You know, Bandsaw? That's mm -hmm. the sort of job you can get your teeth into, isn't it? That's right, yeah. <laughs> Don't bother with that. <laughs> How did you meet your wife? On a blind date. On a blind date? Yes. Let's you open your eyes after that, Lord. <laughs> 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 what's, your, what's your... Your wife's got a nickname, Jack, hasn't she? Yeah, Magpie. Magpie? Yeah. <laughs> that was given to my father. Was it really? Yeah, Magpie. Was, yeah. Have you any family? Yeah, four lads. Got the four, yeah. Mm -hmm. Should have been used to being on the net. That's right. <laughs> Jack, I'll see you in a minute. How are you, lady? Give this lovely couple a nice round of applause. How are you, lady? Lady, now that's an unusual name. Why Lady? Well, my name's actually Lorraine, but Lorraine. when my brother was young, he couldn't say Lorraine, so I got Lainey, and everybody calls me I Lainey. see. Your younger brother, he couldn't say Lorraine. Yeah. That's it. Well, that's fine. You married? Married. Married, think. yes. Mm -hmm. And your family? Two girls. Two girls. Mm -hmm. And they're, what, how old are they? Six-ish? Six and two. And two. And you said you'd like to wave to mm -hmm. them, didn't you? Can you remember the names? Mm -hmm. Of course you can. <laughs> well, do it on one there. Just give them a wave and say, do what, say what you like. Leanne and Dora. Right. <laughs> 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 and you play for the smugglers, do you? That's good. So you'll not go through the usual customs. Sam, <laughs> Sam <laughs> welcome to the show, Sam. And your, mother, your father and daughter, of course. That's right. You must be very proud of this young lady. Oh, yeah, she's good. lovely, isn't she? She really is. Have you anybody particularly you'd like to be? Well, I've always liked Russ Abbott. Oh, he's brilliant. And I always feel it, it's so genuine. Yeah. He comes across as a very nice guy. And that's, I promise you, that's exactly what he is. He's a super fella. No, now, but he does this, I've often wondered about how the Scots react to him doing his, with the red, are you, brother, you, Jimmy, can you do a bit of that? I love the way he says, he'd, you know. He'd, you know. <laughs> aye, aye, aye. I just come in here for the bullseye. I get into the bullseye and see Jimmy Boyne. And Jimmy Boyne's a nice man, if you take him the right way. He doesn't need to dress very nice, right? <laughs> <laughs> well done, sir. <laughs> Very good, that. He won't win, of course, but there you are. <laughs> we've got Dave and Jim, and you're from two Lancashire lads from Manchester and Bury. You, you're the, yeah. Are you from Manchester, Dave? Yeah, Radcliffe. It's in Manchester, oh, near no, Bury. Where Radcliffe is. Uh, <laughs> what's your job? Postman. You're a postman. We're doing no gags about postmen tonight. <laughs> We're not doing any j jokes about, like, it's better than walking in the streets. You've had, had them all, haven't we? A man of letters. Yeah. Not many of that, because I wrote off. I wrote off for some postman gags. They got lost in the post. <laughs> <laughs> have, you, have you any family, Dave? Uh, wife, uh, wife, one son, Ben. You've just the one yeah. son, Ben. Yes. Hey, Ben. <laughs> <laughs> so you got that off. You got your wife again. You've had yours. Catching. <laughs> That's right. So you just got the one then. Yeah. Yes. No second delivery then. And uh, <laughs> <laughs> Jim, yeah. you're a postman as well, sir. Aren't Correct. You? That's right. Tell us what you find in these... I mean, you do must find some weird things in these post boxes. Do you want to empty them? The, the things I can mention? Yeah. Oh, uh, uh, <laughs> well, frogs, toads. Do the uh, kid, what happens the kids put in it? Yeah, the curries are the best. The following morning, after, yeah. you know, after uh, Friday nights. You know, the curries. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Where did you meet your wife? Um, we're back when she was working on the post office counter. She yeah. was selling postal orders and stamps and could have be stuck together ever since. 
<laughs> what with you and Sam, that's all I can stand. <laughs> go on, off you go. Down there, Jim. Well done. Get around, Jim. <laughs> well, excellent. We've got, uh, we've got six sparklers tonight, haven't we? Weren't they lovely? That was absolutely delightful. Lovely to meet them. Bullies category board there. If the dark player does really well and get, hits all the subjects chosen by his partner, he can win a lot of money. If he hits the bullseye, he can score for his team £200. What about that? That's all right, isn't it? All right. Contestants all ready to play the game. Just to remind all you people at home, questions in the first round are worth £30 each. All right. Here we go, then. Come on, Jack. Choose a subject for Tony. Spelling, Jim, please. Spelling we want, uh, Tony, please. £50. For another £30, Jack. Please spell mould, as in a jelly mould. M-O-L-D. I can offer it. Jim? M-O-U-L-D. I'll check it with Bully. M-O-U-L-D is right. So we move on. Sam, choose a subject for your lovely daughter, Lenny. Uh, sport, Jim, please. Sport, we'll try that, Lenny. £50. For another £30, Sam. Where is the All England Lawn Tennis and Croquet Club, Sam? Wimbledon. Wimbledon is right. Good. Gives you £30. Jim for Dave. Faces, please. Faces. Come on, Dave. £50. For another £30, Jim. Look at your monitors, all of you. But Jim in particular, can you tell me who is that? Katie Boyle. Katie Boyle gets you another £30. Gives us the scores at the end of that round. Jack and Tony with £50, Sam and Laney with £80, and Jim and Dave with £110. You're all doing well. <laughs> all right. We move on. Round two. Questions now, as you all know, £50 each, the questions. So do all take your time. Look at the board, the subjects that are lit. They're the ones you can choose, Jack. Here we go again. Affairs, Jim, please. Affairs, we'll do our best. Come on, Tony. Affairs we'd like. £50. For another £50, Jack, and do take your time, look at your monitors for a newsreel clip, all of you. Here's Cynthia Payne after her acquittal in 1987. In what area of London did she hold her famous parties, Jack? Bermondsey. I'm looking for a light. Yes, Sam. Wandsworth. It wasn't. You're very close at Wandsworth. In fact, it was Streatham. All right, the famous Streatham parties. All right, Sam for Laney. Uh, words, please, Jim. Words we'd like. Come on, Laney. £30. For, for another £50, Sam. If an animal is a marsupial, what does the word marsupial mean, Sam? Uh, carries in a pouch, the young in a pouch. We'll take that for £50. In fact, it's young feed and are carried in a pouch on the female. For £50, we allow that. Fine. Jim for Dave. History, please, Jim. History. Come on, Dave. History we like. £50. For another £50, Jim. In the 11th century, William the Conqueror began the construction which is now one of London's oldest buildings, perhaps one of the most historic in England. Which is that building, Jim? William the Conqueror. Tower of London. The Tower of London is right. You didn't lose your head there. Well done. Excellent. So we've got Jack and Tony with £100, Sam and Laney with £160 and Jim and Dave with £210. You're all doing well. Right. The scores as they are now, they're very, very close, very close, so this next round can completely upend the whole situation because the questions, as you know, £100 each they are, but we've less to hit because the dark players have played so well, we've only got four categories left. Places, showbiz, books and Britain. So here we go. Come on, Jack. Britain, please, Jim. Britain. Come on, Tony. Britain we like. £50. Well played, Tony. You really have done well for your partner there. For another £100, Jack, in 1968, one of the bridges spanning the Thames in London was dismantled and sold to a town in Arizona, USA, as a tourist attraction. Which bridge was it, Jack? L London Bridge. London Bridge gets you £100. Well played. 
Good enough. 250 you've got there. You're OK. Sam for Laney. Uh, showbiz, please. Showbiz. We'd like Laney. <coughs> it's not. It's gone in sport. And the category's gone, so we can't ask the question. So we move on. Jim for Dave. Places, please, Jim. Places. Places we'd like. £50. For another £100, Jim. At which zoo did a gentle gorilla stroke a five-year-old boy when he fell into the gorilla pit in 1986? Shh, Audience. Shh. Whip snade. It wasn't. You had to have a stab at that for £100, but Jack, for £100... Oh, Jelen Islands. Carry St on. St Helier. Is right on Jersey. There we are. And it's well done. Hundred pounds. Well done. Which gives us Jack and Tony with three hundred and fifty pounds, Sam and Laney with one hundred and sixty pounds, and Jim and Dave with two hundred and sixty pounds. So we've got to say cheerio to Sam and Laney with one hundred and sixty pounds. In you come the pair of you. Well done. Well done. Well done, Laney. Girl. Well done, Sam. You did a delight. One hundred. £160. Take that with you back up to Kilmarnock. We might not all get back there yet, but we'll, we, we do hope you, uh, you enjoy spending it one way or the other. Brilliant, Lenny. You've been absolutely marvellous. Thanks a lot. Thanks, Sam. Thank you Lovely to have you on the programme, really. Take your bullies. Watch the game, because, well, you know how it runs. We could well be seeing you later on. Off you go that way. Thank you. Drama <laughs> Come with me. Well done, boys. It's... Uh, Traditional match play dartboard time now. The two remaining dart players compete in three rounds of darts against each other and win for their partners a question. And the value of that question is the highest score or the winning score. What we're saying to you, boys, is it's uh, pounds for points. Come on, big Tony. In you go. Come and stand with me, Dave. Good lad. Listen OK, to Tony. You. First round. It's five. Treble five. 20, 40. Love it, Dave. 40 to beat. 20. 20. And 20, 60. So takes the first round. It's a 60 pound question for you here, Jim. General knowledge, so it could be anywhere. Here we go. Which drug is obtained from the leaves and root of the plant called Deadly Nightshade? Belladonna. Belladonna. Yeah, excellent. I didn't think that was all that easy. You've done well there. 350 playing 320. Ooh, what a middle game. Back to Tony. OK, Tony. Second round. Just 30, in it. Treble 20. Five. And another treble 20. 125. Well done. Time, Dave. 125 to beat. It's one. 20. And five. 26. Second round to Tony. Jack, this is a very expensive question. You realise that, don't you? Yes. <laughs> Which association stages variety shows called gang shows? Shh. Boy Scouts. Boy Scouts is right. You're riding along on the crest of a wave. £475, playing 320 Back to Tony. It's the final round, and it's Tony to throw. <laughs> 20. 20. And 20. 60. OK, Dave. 60 to beat. 20. 20. And 20, 60. It's a tie, Jim. Thank on you, the Tony. final round. Right, Jack and Jim, listen carefully. I'll begin to read this question as soon as you definitely know the answer, and not until, because I shall stop speaking, press your button. When your light comes on, I'll stop and ask you the question. Here we go. It's worth £60 to whichever one of you answers it. What is the name of the special seat in the House of Lords, which is up... Jack? The Woolsack. The Woolsack is right. Well guessed. It. Well, it wasn't a guess, I'm sure. Well done. <laughs> Gives us £535 for Jack and Tony. 
But our two boys from Lancashire are going up well. They're doing very well at the moment with £320. In you come, Dave and Jim. Well done, lads. Well done. Tanker, very attentive, very bullies. Well, you should be enjoying the next 10 seconds or so because I'm going to give you £320. It'll take me two minutes to count it. See you back in a couple of throws. Thanks a lot. <laughs> Bronze bully time. This is where we ask the professional player to throw for charity. If he gets 301 or more, we double that and give it to the charity chosen by our two fine lads here tonight. We've got a super fellow throwing tonight. England International. Let's stand back and look as Richie Gardner throws for charity. <laughs> okay. Very nice, Rich. OK. Yeah. Best of luck. 20. 20. And 20, 60. Good darts, then unlucky. <laughs> 20. Treble 20, good recovery, unlucky. <laughs> That's 104 to Rich. 140 and 3 to go. 20. Treble 20. Another 20, 100. 240, though, Rich. Yeah, well played, well played, well played, Come on, Rich. Come on round, Jack. Well done, Rich. Oh, that must have devastated you, that. And it's funny, we've had no knockouts at all, but John had one a couple of weeks, two or three weeks ago. John had a bounce out. Incredible, that. You've still done all right. 200... Ooh, with that one. 240 pounds you've got, Rich. Welcome to the show again. Thank you very much, Jim. It's great to see you. You're into the fitness, aren't you, now? Yes, I've lost a bit of weight, yeah. Everybody's mm. turning up now in front with you. Why you suddenly doing that? What do you do? You play a bit of golf? A bit of golf, yeah, a bit of golf. Times your muscles down and gets rid of the uh, fluid. Because uh, uh, yeah, right. <laughs> you don't drink a lot, Richard, do you? I no, mean, not really, no. No, I'm, no, I've seen you after the last show I saw you. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> I, 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 knew you, I knew you didn't drink a lot. You couldn't drink a lot lying down. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the swan, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for uh, coming on the show. It's £240. Where's it going? Do you want to tell us, Jack, where the money's going? To the Ashgate Hospice, Chesterfield. In Chesterfield. In yeah. Chesterfield. Good. And that'll go to, uh, well, they can use the equipment, that'll buy, I'm sure, can't they? Yeah. Rich, yeah. always a delight to have Thank you on the you. programme. Thank yeah. you, sir. I know you want to wish the boys all right. Like that, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Yes, he is a lovely guy. It's always a pleasure to have him on the programme. <laughs> now it's your turn, right? Your turn to win some prizes for yourselves. Let's have a look what Bully's Prize Board has got for you tonight. In one, forget scrubbing and ringing, just sit there singing with this super automatic washing machine. In two, a really useful set of power tools with drill, jigsaw, planer, sander, and of course, a stripper. Da da da. No, stop it, stop it. It's a paint stripper. In three, there'll be bouquets all round if you take home this wine making kit. In four, no more blues sitting in queues with this car radio cassette. In five, a pair of sleeping partners you love to cuddle. It's a couple of dinosaur snores. In six, some like it hot, and that's just how you'll get it with this hostess trolley. In seven, you'll get out and about, but you'll never lose out with this useful combined telephone and answering machine. In eight, you'll have a leer and you'll have set up here there. You'll have people talking. With this exquisite perfume and crystal sprayer. And Bully's special prize. You'll really enjoy facing the music with this MIDI hi-fi with compact disc. <laughs> All right, boys. This is it now. Nine prizes. We're giving you nine chances to win them all, all right? Keep out of the black and in the red. Nothing in this game for two in a bed. To help you, the lights come on when you've won a prize. To, just to help you, so we don't always hit it twice, you see. All right, Tony, yep. off you go. The best of luck to both of you. Listen to Tony Green. OK, Tony, just settle in. Best of luck. That's red, it's number seven. That's the answering machine. 
black. And that's black. <laughs> Look, Tony. Going for the ball, wasn't you? <clears throat> OK, Jack. Here you go, Jack. Remember what's gone, Jack. It's black. Black. And black. Oh, dear, Jack. Jack's in the black. OK, Tony, three to go. Best of luck. That's red, it's number one. That's the washing machine. Red again, number two. That's the power tools. And black. <clears throat> well, boys, let's have a look at what you've won. You've won the washing machine, the power tools and the answering machine. <laughs> OK, well, there you are. You know what you've won. You've won three prizes there around the board. You're 535, you take that home, whatever happens, and the £240 that Richie got for your hospice, that's on its way at the end of the programme. The prizes we want you to consider, are you prepared to gamble those prizes against tonight's star prize, which is hiding behind Bully? You need 101, you know by now, in six darts. All right, Jack to go first, and then you, Tony. You've got the time it takes the board to revolve to tell us what you'd like to do. Audience, what do they do? Come on, tell us. Come on. What do you think? Very good players. Well, well. <laughs> all right, well, all the shouting in the world's not going to help you now. What do you think? We'll go for it. You're going to have a go, Jack. The best of luck. Well, Tony's a superb player. Come on. In you go, Jack. Come on, Tony. Take your time, Jack. All right. Familiar. Remember, 101 or more for tonight's star prize. We're all with you. It's 13. Treble six. And 17, which gives you 48, Jack. Meaning, Tony, you need 53 or more for tonight's star prize. Just take your time. Nineteen. Nineteen. And treble nine! Yeah. Yeah. Have a look at this! Have a look at this! It's an absolutely superb prize. Have a look at it. Watch it. It's a bullseye fashion spree. A chance to splash out in style on a whole range of up-to-the-minute outfits from a leading fashion chain. Perhaps Dad would choose something elegantly informal, like this traditional blazer with casual check trousers and a trench-style raincoat. For Mum, how about this silk effect two-piece with a pleated skirt and a silk blouse in autumn colours? Our youngsters have designs on something colourful. Richard's gone for those jeans, which go down well in launderettes, together with a padded blues on and contrasting knitwear while Colette's right up to date in this 60s style check tunic jacket with loose fitting trousers. It's yours to mix and match, to pick and choose as you wish with a bullseye 2,000 pound fashion spree. Come on, come on. Come on, John. Come on, up you go, Jack, up you go. Up you go, John. There you bullies, there you bullies. There you are, there you are. Check that, Jack, well done. We're delighted for you all, our two lads tonight. There they are, they've got £535 and the bullies and the tankards and all this beautiful, superb star prize, along with the prizes they've already won. We'd like to thank you all for watching Bullseye. Thanks to Richie Gardner, £240 for the hospice in Chesterfield. Thanks to a superb studio audience. Thank you for watching. Watch us next week on Bullseye, cos you can't beat a bit of bully. Bye. <laughs>